Alright. How do, how do. Uh, we're going to do the joints for joint, jointed breakable objects. Alright, we got a new scene in Blender here. Okay. First thing we are going to do is we are going to set up our materials for this one. Uh, let's see here. Let's get ourselves set up. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit mode, move everything up to where our stuff is sitting right there on the uh, zero Z axis. Okay. We'll go to object. Now, we're going to set ourselves up some materials. Okay, we're going to call this uh, jointed double uh, underscore right here material slot one dun -dun, and uh, material one alright now we got that what we're gonna do is we'll come up here to the crablin menu add material physics and we want materials the uh, add fizz none okay which means it shows the material but there's no physics applied to it so you can walk through it etc etc we add that to it. Okay. Now we've got that. Now what we want to do is we're going to shift D, enter, scale it up just a tad wee bit. And we'll go to object, apply, scale. Make sure you go to object, apply, scale. If you do anything in object mode, that transforms the shape of the uh, object okay object apply scale that'll resolve a lot of issues and then what we will do we'll go, ahead and go here call that cube this proxy Alright, just for now, just to, uh, alright, let's see here, dun, 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 dun. we're going to cheat this a little bit here, negatory, will be, alright, now we want this to be, Proxy. Okay, we'll turn on our transparency so where you can see what's underneath it. Go on over here to display. Multi texture GLSL. And yeah, we'll turn on textured mode so you can actually see what's going on here. Alright. Now we've got that. We've got our physics proxy around it. Join a breakable two proxy. Go over here to our material physics proxy. No draw. All right. Now we've got that. Now what we're going to do is we will take our two objects here. We're going to select the phys proxy. And we're going to shift select cube. And then over here, we'll hit control J to join them. Then we got our cube with both of our materials set up just like we want it. Alright, now what we're going to do now is we are going to we'll set that back where it needs to be. But we're gonna shift D this little guy, hit enter, bring it on up here. So we're, we're just about touching, but not quite. Bring this on over here. Alright, now we've got our two objects here. Okay, now this is just an oversimplification. But, anyway, 
All right, we'll go back here to three. We're setting this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a joint. Now, here's the deal with this, okay? If, for whatever reason, you scale this or, you know, do any editing, which you want to do uniform scaling, except I would do it in edit mode, because you're not trying to make a funky joint. It's just going to be a cube. It's going to be a big cube, little cube, but a cube, okay? Just big enough to attach the two objects together, all right? So, first things first, over here where it says joint, we're going to replace where it says num. So, 0, 1, that's all you need to do. You make another joint, 0, 2, another joint, 0, 3, so on and so forth. Alright, what we're going to do is we'll bring this up, bring it on over here, and then in edit mode, just to make life easy, we'll go ahead and scale it where it attaches both back to object mode it's right there all right everything's wonderful okay now we'll go ahead and select all three of these objects okay and then we're going to go ahead and add a cry export node jointed Breakable. As you can see, they're all green, so we're good to go. We'll, fuck, we'll save as in our Blender folder here, which you know you can put it wherever you want. It's up to you. Join a breakable. Save as Blender file. Don't forget, get your guy going here. Alright, we'll export to game. It can be a CGF, run the resource compiler. You can do materials once you, uh, uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's right, silly me. I don't have a Virtus map. Alright, yeah, a UV map <laughs> attached to these guys. Sorry about that. Alright, pop in the UV map. There we go. Now we'll export it to the game. CDF, run resource compiler, export to game. Progress 100. No issues. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, now. On up over here. Entity. Physics. Breakable object. Drag you on over. Oh yeah, by the way, when you add your joint here, you end up with a lot of custom properties here to uh, edit later on, okay? Uh, it already adds them for you. Do not add custom properties using the add button. It messes it up. Uh, if there's a custom property that you need, look in here to where it says add custom properties. You should be able to find it. Uh, I tried to include all of them that I could. Uh, if I missed one, just let me know. Anyway, back on over here to this. Replace this guy with our Tony Breakable. Okay. And. Let's see here, density, friction, mass. So I mean actually it's supposed to work with the geometry or entry and geometry ge this. The entity, geometry entity, is supposed to work with that. Um, I don't know if it does or does not. Let's see here, we want to uh, Sorry about being. Breakable assets. Joint breakable. No, no, no. Are you killing everyone? What? P draw helpers. 
you can see right here there's our joint check it out looks just like it's supposed to awesome hey let's give that a try Anyway, uh, there's our joints. Sorry about that. I'm playing around here. Oh, yeah. Our mass is uh, way off here. As you can see here, we've got uh, mass settings. Ah, that's what I didn't do wrong. Right. Anyway, you need to follow the documentation. I just wanted to show you how to do the joints uh, in the game. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, now you've got to assign mass to these uh, guys here uh, go to custom properties and uh, no, no. Uh, assign it no, no, no. entity and mass value no, no. Uh, go ahead and entity no, no. one assign custom properties uh, for the jointed mass equals 15 alright now uh, here's another cool trick with the uh, thing uh, to change the name you just go to group add to group and where your last name was just add a number and there you go alright hold on a second here export to game run resource compiler export everything went fine geometry entry entity doing a breakable one sorry about that guys there we go. There's our mass. Yay. All right. Well then. That's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, that's how you do it. You got to fiddle around with it. Have fun. All right. Bye.